What's going on, peoples? It's your boy DB4. Welcome back to some more Romance of the Three Kingdoms 13. We are here playing as Li Shin, Ha Shin Unit, Qin Dynasty, celebrating some more of that kingdom greatness, the return of the anime season three, celebrating the kingdom manga and all its greatness. We are back, man. Yeah, Li Shin. We are currently the king of China. We have been appointed the king by the emperor. A lot of things just shifted. He just appointed a bunch of other people some lands throughout the kingdom. And soon as he did that, as soon as the scenario started to play out, all haywire broke loose. There's been a new faction that popped up up north. You know, with the way the map is set up, only one person was able to get lands. I guess they relinquished some lands from Lu, Lu Yan. And gave it to this guy, Han Fu. Han Fu is currently about to get demolished by Lu Yan. And then he's going to be our problem. Now, currently we do have about a few more, one month left on our alliance with Lu Yan and the Han Dynasty. Now, we don't want to really renew our alliance with this guy for another 30 months. But we are going to try to get the alliance with the Han Dynasty for another two years or so. Because we do want to start attacking this guy. We don't want to just leave him here and build up a bunch of 100k cities along this road. We want to get rid of him. We have about 20-something months on this alliance. So we're not going to be able to attack him no time soon. But we definitely want to get rid of this guy. He has a lot of powerful officers. We don't want them to get any more powerful than they already are. He has about 100. He has 100k city over here in this part of the map. He probably has one of the strongest cities on the map. My strongest cities on the other side of the world. So if I wanted to combat him in just raw troop, troop strength with city to city, I would need to deploy from the other side of the map. And that would literally take about six months. I might just do it. I might just bring an elite army from over here just to do it. You know, I got the supplies. I'm floating a bunch of supplies. I'm floating a bunch of other stuff. I think we can do it. I think we're equipped, if anybody is. But for now, I'll just bring up all of these armies to meet up at the capital. I'm a little reluctant to move these armies unless I get this alliance going. But if I do get the alliance going, I'll move these armies east. To this city and have these all, all of these armies in this city move up and meet up at the capital. And once I have all of these armies combined, we'll immediately head for this port. And while we're doing that, we're obviously going to garrison these four armies here in this city to create a vanguard. Then while these armies are moving up, once we get here, we'll assault this city. To create a foothold on this side of the port or this city. Either one. And then we'll start attacking his lands from there with all of our troops behind us. We'll bring about, I'll say about 400,000 people for this battle. But for now, we still have an alliance. We don't know what move he's going to make. I'm pretty sure he's going to try to attack us. So for now, let's just get as much domestic and military matters done as possible. So first things first, let's accept this request from the people. And try to help as many people as possible while we're in these cities. So, we did get the request, right? Let's see. We have to travel. Let's move. Five days, absolutely. But while we're traveling, we'll just keep a close eye on this battle. Since we are out of the city. We'll keep a close eye on this battle. I want to know every move this guy makes. This entire month, I want to know the amount of troops he lose. I want to know what type of generals he's fielding. I want to know who he captured. I want to know everything. I actually want him to go to war with the Han Dynasty. That would... Oh, I found the Avatar. Okay, great. Noble old man. He wants to duel. He probably have a thousand int. Oh, 75 int. I might be able to beat the noble old man. We'll get back to what I was talking about after this. Let's actually try to win this duel against the noble old man. I can use this int experience. First thing we're going to do, he might retort or focus, so we're going to focus. He focused, great. Now, we're even on focus. We're not going to win any, any insist anytime, to, anytime soon. So, I think he's going to focus again. He possibly, he's possibly going to retort. Hmm. 
If he's going to retort, let's try to get a little bit of damage off. Oh, he focused. Great. He was able to get a little bit of damage off. That was cool. Now, we're in a third round. That means we have three more rounds left of this battle. This round and two more. So we don't want to focus because he can just go in and attack and he might slay us. So I think we're going to retort and try to block as much damage as possible. Great. He retorted. Great. Great. Now, if he goes to focus or retort again, we can win this. So I think we should insist just this one time and we'll retort for the rest of the battle. Great. He went for the retort. We do get damage. It is minimized, but at least we get some damage. Now, all we need to do to win this is retort. Hopefully. He's going to insist and try to inflict maximum damage on us, but with us retorting, it'll give us a, a defensive bonus. Oh, he asserted. Yes, that's even better. Yes, I beat him. There we go. I beat the noble old man. Shin has become great. 67 int. That's amazing. Not going to return to Shao Pai. First things first. Let's see if I can buy some specialities, though. What do we have? We only sell wine in my kingdom. Man. All right. Let's leave. Let's leave. I'm not going to visit Reboko or anything. Let's just return home. Keep an eye on this war. They're knocking the doors of this, the gates of the city down fairly easy and quick. He's not even going to be able to field another army, probably. Is he going to field another army? I would. I hope he does. It'll make him... He'll lose more troops. Into Shao Pai, yes. More gold, more gold. We shouldn't be able to buy any specialities, so let's just go help somebody while we're here. Help you, absolutely. See, I want to help people to get as many. While they're at war, I want to get as much stuff done as possible. Wait. Yeah, as soon as this training is done with Taisha Sip, we're going immediately to... Luyan army conquer scene. We're going immediately to try to get this alliance. We, we're going to need it. On month five of the year 194, Han Fu army fell in the same month that they rose. <laughs> yeah, he, he just basically took his city back. That That's not too much of a big deal. First things first, let's try. Well, we can't do anything. We can't get any orders going so far. All right, the month is over. I'm pretty sure we're going to go to war. We're going to have a war on our hands. I'm pretty sure. But hopefully we can get an alliance before the war starts. All right. Let's see. Taishitsa is still doing this quest. We really need him to finish this request. Because we don't want to get caught out there not being able to get an alliance off before. Because, you know, the Han Dynasty might just attack us. Before we can send anybody to negotiate an alliance and then we'll be in trouble um siege towers um you know what go for training upgrade we need better troops i don't mind if prisoners escape at the moment we're not worried about that it's july 1st we should not have an alliance let's check foreign remaining alliance zero all right Luyan, all right. We don't have any more alliances with these guys. That's to be the first thing on our list of things to do is get another alliance up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Luyan was appointed as East Officer of Defense. You know what? Let me let me do that as well. Let me start appointing some people and leveling some people up. A lot, some titles, auto promote. Absolutely. Everybody gets promoted. Great. It's advanced time. We're going to take this slow. We do not want to miss a beat on preparing for war. All right, cool. June 4th, we finally got the ability to do... Hmm. All right, we... Yes, great, great. I'm glad we got this debt with He Jin. I'm so glad. We should be able to pull this alliance off. Hmm. Now, he's got all rate at eight. Hmm. 
he has a higher initial negotiation rate, which is 20. Lower intelligence. He's going to arrive there faster. It's going to take him less days to do it as well. I'm going to use Conky. I'm going to call in a debt. I'm going to use Conky. He'll get there in 15 days. So before the month is over, he should get there. And hopefully we can survive this month without going to war with the Han Dynasty. I'm not too worried about Lu, Lu Yan. I'm waiting for him, actually. Let's let's check in on Ko Conky's um, Oki City. Yeah, he's got his ministers. His ministers are up. I'm actually going to send him some more military strength over here. And maybe some more domestic strength as well. I'll send him domestic strength, actually. And same thing for Conky. Let's check Conky. City officers. He has somebody very capable at domestic matters. Maybe he should switch ministers, but... I'll send them both another capable military officer as well as another capable domestic officer if I can spare it. Let's try to do that now. Transfer orders. First thing we're going to do is send you somebody domestic. He needs someone that's good at domestic things. So we're going to go to governance. Anybody that's not a minister currently with high governance, he's going to get him. The first guy. Ooh, Zhao Yu. I don't know if I can give you Zhao Yu. I don't know if I can give you Zhao Yu. You definitely can take Dong Zhao, though. Definitely can take him. He's he's actually real good. And he's not a minister either. You can definitely take him. And where did I get him from? Okay, he's coming from over there. That's great. He's he's basically off the front lines anyway. I don't mind that at all. Yotan was not suffering from officers at the moment. Now Conky needs both. He needs Governance. Well, he has a decent governor. Let's send him somebody with high leadership. Well, he don't need the leadership. He needs the intelligence, maybe. Yeah, let's just send him somebody with high intelligence. Somebody that we can spare with high intelligence. In high governance. It, 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 you know, it, it'll help him out. That's two birds, one stone. We'll let them do that for now. Raboku's suffering. What is who does he have in here? He doesn't he doesn't seem to have anybody capable. He's suffering over here. No, no, he actually has some well, these dudes are horrible. I guess when he gives them milit um domestic tasks, they can't even complete it. Yeah, let's get these guys out of here and get him some capable people over here. Raboku's suffering. So, other assignments, transfer orders. Let's go to Rioboku City. Let's give him anybody with good governance. Anybody that we can spare with a good governorate. Actually, everybody we can spare with a good governorate. That's not a minister or something. Alright, first couple of normal dudes. He's been transferred already. He's been transferred already, I think. No, he has been. He's a minister, though. Ugh. He was a governor, actually. He's kind of strong. We'll send him for sure. Lee Rue's a minister. He's a what's the name? What about him? He's great as well, too. And he has a very high rank. He's not, look, look he's not good at leading armies at all. But he's an excellent person to do those type of things. We're actually going to send him a third person. Somebody that's a little more balanced. Can lead an army as well. He's perfect. He's perfect. He's perfect. Alright. He has capable generals now. Now we'll just take a, sh a shit ton of generals from him. Damn. There's 16 officers over here. Uh, we'll dump a bunch of officers in this kingdom. And we'll take them from Riaboku. First and foremost. All of these weak guys gotta go. You, 
need to go. You, you're not good. Well, all right. Out of the weak governor, guys, who's the weakest? I guess the guy I picked. You know, you got to go to. I'm not keeping none of these weak guys around. Not in this city. We can't afford that. Not right now. If you're not very capable, you might have to get up out of the city. Confirm that. We'll just send him down there to that kingdom. Actually, we can afford to send him more guys and have him start training them up. There's too many guys up here. I just saw that city. This guy. This city. Where, where did all of these officers come from? He's been recruiting. He must have got everybody that we got from this city. Hmm. Let's send, just send some random fodder down there that's not really good at nothing. That we don't really want doing any tasks, wasting our money and wasting positions. Yeah, a lot of these dudes shouldn't even be given tasks. Can't really lead. Well, he's good at... He's real good at governing, but he can't lead an army. I'll save him for somebody. We need good governors everywhere. People good at governing so they can do the task to help boost population. Looking at this. So far, I'll take these two guys. Yeah, he's down to 12 guys. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I guess I'll send some Yotan with some people. You know, 16 guys is a lot. 12 guys is a lot for a small city like this. So, let's just send her some newbies. Some lower rank people. That aren't doing anything anyway. We don't want to take no good generals. You can lead an army. Maybe we should keep you over here. You need at least 70 to be on my front line. 70 leadership. If not, mm, you can go on ahead. All right, we got that. Now, Conky's working on this alliance. So far, so good. He should be able to... There we go. Oh, no, they're coming. He doesn't want the alliance. No. Oh, man. So we got to face the Han Dynasty. All right. All right. All right. You know what? This is going to work in our favor. Because now we can just basically start knocking his doors down. He's coming with his entire army. All right, now if I think of this logically, he's going to attack in full force, mainly in these cities. Now, my number one objective, and if I'm, if I'm going to survive this, I can fairly, I can defend this all fairly well. But if I'm going to survive this now, with the armies that he's fielded so far, if I'm going to survive this, I got to hold at Runai. Now, that's very, 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 very possible. Because the moment... He starts coming for Runan. I can intercept him with a bunch of different armies. And on top of that, once he comes down here, I can launch a major assault on this city, this city, this city, this line here. Starting here, I'll launch a major offensive on this. Our defensive, gonna, our defense is going to come from here. The Central Kingdom is going to defend Runan. Everybody's coming up. Everybody from the Central Kingdom is coming up. 
to defend Runan. He's already sending armies. He's already sending armies. Everybody's sending armies. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. He's sending armies. Everybody's going to defend Runan. I'm going to send out armies also to defend Runan. Now, look. My major army. My... Yes. Zhang is defending... Sending armies. Yes. Great. Zhang mobilized. Did Yotanwa mobilize? Yotanwa did not mobilize yet. I'm going to take Yotanwa to crack this city. I need this city and I need it now. She's going to take everything she has and try to crack this city along with this city. And once she does that, we should have the capital surrounded. But first, that's going to be a long war, a very long, bloody war. I got to move all of my elite troops up immediately to get here. Just to get there and hold ground. Just to get there and hold ground. That's my plan. We defend with the Middle Kingdom. <sighs> We throw a, a, a counterattack with my main force, Oki. These guys here. This is our counterattack. Also with the counterattack coming up from the, the very bottom of the Middle Kingdom. We should. We got about 120. Ew. They got. Oh, this is going to get sticky. Let's see how many armies they're sending out of, at, at first. At first. They're testing us with about. 17, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 100, about 120,000, 40, 50, 60, 160,000 they're coming at us with. We can defend that with 60, 100, 3, 50. We got 170 just with our counterattack. Our defense has 4, 8, 110. 140. 140 on a defense. So we're good with a defense and counterattack. <clears throat> now, we have a lot more coming for defense and a lot more coming on a counter. But these armies are kind of out of position, so I'm not counting them yet. And our other counterattack, our flank, is coming from here. He was smart enough not to move too many troops from his capital. Because we are definitely going to go at him full force here. Another major thing we're going to have to do is... <clears throat> Try to get this alliance with this guy. Without an alliance with him, this entire plan falls apart. Now, let's check. Did they do some sort of coalition? All right. This is what we have to do. Training mission, remove. Absolutely. You... Need to we need some domestic alliance. We need our best person. Damn, if I send Red Boku, we can't fight. Oh, uh, we'll send one of these dudes. But Rear Boku gets there faster. No, Zuyan, he's there. He can get there fast. Great. Go, go. Fast. All right. A lot of these armies are going to have to come home. Like, for instance, a lot of these armies that are here, 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 a lot of these armies are going to have no choice but to come back to their cities. We want them to advance toward our cities. He's going there. We could intercept him, but we're going to come from the behind on him. They're all going to take that main road straight there. Sal Sal's going to meet them on that main road. They're going to take that main road. All right, so everybody's everybody's going down that main road. Yeah, everybody's taking the main road. Can we intercept? Now... It's looking like he's waiting. He might be waiting. We'll, we'll see, though. We'll see. It might be advantageous to intercept this army. Excuse me. To at least get some people off my back. It might be very advantageous to intercept this army here.
but that might make Sal Sal break for this road instead of that one. Maybe I want Sal Sal away from the main battle. Maybe I do. First things first. Let's save. Let's save. In case something goes wrong and I skip a beat. Alright, maybe I want him to go that way. Alright, since I can't let a day go by, let's start planning this attack. Hmm, I need to think about this, though. I need to think about this in earnest, though. I actually need to think about this in earnest. Hmm. We need to consider mobilization times and everything. So, we need to start getting these armies on the field. Anybody who can mobilize... Because, look, for instance. It's going to take him 69 days to mobilize. Granted, we're going to need those troops for a counterattack. Him 17 days. He'll be into the action a little bit sooner. Let's check these other armies that decided to mobilize already. He's on the move, which is great. He's going to get there fast. He's on a move, which is also great. He's going to get there fast. He's going to take a whole month to mobilize. We can't really depend on that army at the moment. So, yeah, our other armies, we got to get them moving. We got to get them moving. We're going to start with the armies the furthest away. That are going to come this way. I think we should be able to crack this section. With everybody up to here. I'm going to send this guy. This entire army. The queen mother this way. Yeah I'm going to send the queen mother. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we're going to need the queen mother. To fully 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 crack this nut, this egg over here. And we can make an, a, a complete sweep. If we can get all of these armies up here. You know what. I'll send this army. I'll send this army. Deploy. The goal is to protect Runan. Everybody from here. Auto form. Yeah, just auto form. Arrive in 63 days. That's cool. Yeah, y'all gotta get moving. 19 days to mobilize. That's great. Let's get some of these rare armies up too. Mobilize 43,000 days. Ugh. Maybe I won't bring them up that far. All right, wait. Let's go from here. No. Protect Runan, yeah. From here as well. Arrive 68 days. Screw it. Let's bring them. We're going to need everybody for this fight. We can't afford to be slacking on supplies or anything like that. Let's take these guys to move up. Mobilize 19 days, yeah. Um, we want some more guys from down here. Mobilize 21 days, yeah. That's acceptable. Y'all come up to mobilize 44 days. That's kind of acceptable as well. Let's get this to go. Mobilize 10 days. That should be acceptable. All right. All right. All right. For now, we'll go with that as our first deployment. That's our basically our defense. We'll go with that because we know the mobilization on these. Now let's get our first line of defense going. Deploy. 
this now nah, we have to protect we have to protect we'll we'll do the the, the counter attack strategies later from here auto form up confirm y'all get there in 25 days yeah get moving fifth mobilize in 15 days get moving arrive in 25 days that's perfect he's gonna get there at the same time as him then i should bring him up too Yep, 9,000 men, that'll work. Arrive in 31 days, that'll work. Now, first defense is going to get there in 25 days. Our initial defense. 25 days is the fastest we can get that first line of defense up. Maybe I can send... This is technically the first line of defense, but I'm trying to save him for the counterattack or the interception mission. I'm also going to get him moving with everybody he needs to get moving with. He's going to arrive in 30 days too, but I'm going to stop him. I'll stop him midway. That's our defense and our counterattack set for that. Let's get that confirmed. Five armies moving. Great. Now, we'll think about this when this army moves up some more. Nope, 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 nope. Absolutely no, nope, actually not. We need to deploy because we have a lot of people we got to bring up. Deploy. Yes, we got soldiers there. All right. I don't want them to get any idea what, we, what we're planning. So I'll have these bottom troops meet up at this gate. In case things go, go north at this and, and go south in the north. We're going to protect that gate. Protect the gate. Now, let's take all of the southern armies and move them up. This, auto form, get moving. You guys, get moving. You guys, get moving. See, look, these guys are going to arrive. It's going to take them a while to get there. A while. And to make matters worse... This is for the marbles, so we going for we going for broke. We sending everybody up. Everybody. Everybody has to go up that route. You know what? I might save him for the middle kingdom. Let's take this force off. Let's take this force out of the, the equation for now. Stop them. No. You know what? Forget it. We'll leave them. We'll leave them. These 131 days. We should have this entire army ready to go. That's about a half a three months. That's cool. That's cool. I can live with that. I can live with that. We want that going now because we need all of that moving now. We need all of that moving. Now, we'll wait a bit to get this these guys moving. We'll just wait uh, uh, about... A few days just to see which direction these armies go in and see the positioning of everybody else and see if we're going to be able to make it in time for most of these situations. So we'll hold off on this western attack and this eastern attack until we see what everybody else want to do. I just want to make sure everybody's deployed. Runan has a, a lot of officers and a lot of armies there. Runan is not going down no time soon. We also have... 30,000 that's going to intercept this guy and try to take him out immediately. He's going to be intercepted by 30,000. And I think my first move, once these armies go down this road, they're going to have to go down. Once these two armies go down this road, they want, I want them to take this road. I'll march my entire army, all of my armies, not the border armies, these three armies here, straight this way automatically straight this way and try to take first this city then we'll move into the center while they're while they're all moving down on rune island we'll take this city then we'll try to cut them cut right through them take this city and we'll try to either go north and then go head for the capital and say was the capital or go straight to the city and try to cut right through them like butter and we'll separate these cities on this side of the map and we'll try to cut through them this way and this way 
If we can take out these forces here while we keep them busy here, that'll be a big win on our half. And we can possibly even get the Emperor if we go that route. So it's about 140, 50, 60, 70,000, 170,000 units. We got to take care of. But we got the armies over here. We definitely have them. And we are moving them out. So for now, we'll wait. We'll wait. You know what? Yeah, I think that's cool. So for now, we did we did those deployments. I think that's enough for this episode. We'll get everybody moving at the beginning of the next episode. And we'll see how this plays out. But yeah, man. Thanks for tuning in. It's your boy DB4. And I'm out.